मैं यहाँ सहजा रोड पे हूँ जहाँ पे 2200 पेड़ कटने की बात आ रही है मार्किंग्स भी शुरू हो गई है ये देखिए ये मार्किंग है इतना बड़ा पेड़ देखो सच ए ह्यूज पेड़ देहरादून वट वंस यूज टू बी अ स्लीपी टाउन नोन फॉर इट्स ग्रीनरी इज स्लोली टर्निंग इन टू अ कॉन्क्रीट जंगल लिविंग रेजिडेंस कंसर्न Over 2200 trees have been proposed to be felled to widen a two lane 14 km long road which will enable faster access to Mussoorie from Delhi. The two lane stretch will be converted into a four lane stretch with a minimum of 10 m to 14 m blacktop throughout the road. These trees are located in the Jogiwala Lalpur Sahasrara crossing and Krishali Square Pacific Gold Estate stretch which has thousands of eucalyptus, mango and peepal trees. The officials say that the project has been undertaken to enable tourists coming from Delhi to proceed straight to Mussoorie without entering Dehradun's Rajpur road. Now it is claimed that this will help decongest Uttarakhand's capital which has been witnessing severe traffic jams during tourist seasons. TOI reported that the center has approved the project and funds of rupees 77 crore have been sanctioned under the Central Roads Fund. The trees have been earmarked and the state government will soon come out with its notification following which a tender will be floated for the project. This project has however concerned citizens who claim that the felling of the trees will hurt Dehradun's ecology further. And why are we citizens opposing this? Well, this will require sacrifice of our 2200 trees. Those trees who are home to so many endangered birds. like the hornbill sparrows and many other they are our oxygen givers our ground water providers and our air purifiers for a tourist who stay for two days why do you want to chop 100 year old trees since dehradun became a capital 70% of the forest cover has been wiped out we appeal to our administration to please look for alternatives and reconsider this proposal we will only vote for that political party that has climate action in the election manifesto remember we are in the midst of climate change and the root cause of climate change was deforestation the residents have also started an online petition to the ministry of forest as well as the state's chief minister pushkar singh dhami asking to stop the felling of the trees dr archal spearheading the movement against the felling of the trees says they have not yet received a reply from the authorities Residents organizations and experts have taken to Twitter using the Save Sahasrara Trees hashtag to express their concern over the project. They say that the chopping of the trees will impact the vibrant bird population of the area. Some residents also brought to attention the floods, landslides and wildfires that have become common in the state, saying deforestation will only increase the frequency of such events. They say that rapid urbanization is hampering groundwater recharging in the city. They also say that the valley is being converted into a flat land through its developmental projects which is not its original landscape. Meanwhile, divisional forest officer of Mussoori, Kakashan Nasim, told TOI that an alternate plan will be sought to save the trees and that some trees like Amaltas could be spared. Dhirendra Kumar, the executive engineer of the Rishikesh Public Works Department, has said that the road will keep the tourists going to Mussoori away from Dehradun. He added that most of the trees are eucalyptus trees that have surpassed their maturity age. Now, concrete cover in Dehradun has gone up drastically with a 600% increase between 1995 and 2015. As a result of this, the city has lost 18% of its seasonal streams. There has also been a decrease in permanent water cover in the city. Experts claim that the damage done by rapid urbanization can be countered by increasing green spaces. However, the new road widening project seems to remove from Dhun some of its oldest trees. The state has also lost 50,000 hectares of its forest cover in the last two decades due to developmental activities. New data suggests that Uttarakhand has seen a rise in weather-linked calamities. Cloud bursts, heavy rainfall have increased. According to geologists, developmental projects like those of the Char Dham and others have led to hill cutting, which causes slope instability, making them prone to landslides. Meanwhile, the residents and environment conservation organizations have organized a Chipko movement on September 26 to draw attention to the project and save the trees. ये नहीं होना चाहिए. ये हमारा देहादून है. अभी सहरदार रोड पे बारिश हुई. कितनी गाड़ियाँ डूब गई. और ये हो जाएगा तो बस दिल्ली और देहादून में क्या difference रहेगा? लोग आते ही यहाँ हैं because of greenery and all. As deforestation increases and concrete cover expands, residents and environmentalists are concerned about losing the green heritage of the city and the many consequences of ongoing developmental projects. They are now asking for climate action from the government.